Welcome to the Brevard Public Schools New Teacher Academy. In this portion of your day, we'll talk about the BPS Employee Benefits Program. I'm Lisa Schmidt, Manager of Employee Benefits here at the district. Since this is a new teacher academy, let me begin by saying welcome to Brevard Public Schools. We're thrilled that you're joining our team and are honored that you've chosen to share your talents with the children of Brevard County. Let's jump right in to discuss the components of the BPS Benefits Program. The Medical and Prescription Drug Plan, which is administered by Cigna, consists of two PPO plans, Gold and Silver, each with three deductible tiers. We'll talk more about these plans and their deductibles a bit later. Regardless of which plan you choose, Gold or Silver, the prescription drug benefits are the same. The Tobacco Use Surcharge Program applies to enrolled employees and their spouses. Telehealth services from Cigna's partner MD Live are free, and as of June 1st, a new surgical benefit was added. Surgery Plus offers health plan enrollees the opportunity for free surgery. In addition to being cost effective, the program is easy to use. Simply call a care advocate who will be your guide from start to finish. Next, the BPS Dental Benefit offers four plans, two PPO plans and two HMO type plans. There's a high and a low option under each. The high option has richer benefits and costs more, and the low plans have less benefits and cost less. Our Vision Benefit offers two plans, Basic and Enhanced. The Basic plan has minimal benefits and costs less than the Enhanced plan with richer benefits. If you're enrolled in one of the medical plans, you'll have access to our three BPS Employee Well Care Centers. We'll talk more about those a bit later. Our Employee Assistance Program, or EAP, is available to all BPS employees and their family members, even if not enrolled in a medical plan. More on that later, too. The BPS Benefits Program also offers a Flexible Spending Account, or FSA, program with two options health care, and dependent care. An FSA lets you set aside pre-tax dollars from your paycheck and use those funds to pay for things like annual health plan deductibles and co-pays, eyeglasses, prescription drugs, and orthodontics. Those would fall under a health care FSA. Under a dependent care FSA, those funds can help pay for child and elder care expenses. Every benefit eligible employee at BPS receives one time their annual pay and basic life insurance paid for by the board. Even if you elect no other benefit, you will have this benefit, so be sure to name a beneficiary for this coverage. In addition to the free basic life which the board provides, you can also elect additional employee life and accidental death and dismemberment insurance, AD&D, as well as dependent life insurance. These are all optional benefits you can choose. BPS also offers a short and long-term disability program. The STD benefit is 60% of covered weekly earnings for up to 26 weeks. The LTD benefit is 60% of monthly covered earnings. The maximum benefit period depends on your age at disability. For example, if you became disabled at age 62 or younger, your benefit could generally go up to your Social Security normal retirement age. Brevard Public Schools Benefits Program offers two PPO medical plans to choose from, gold and silver. Regarding the gold plan, this plan is a traditional in and out of network PPO plan where using in-network providers will be the most cost-effective approach to healthcare. In-network providers are those who are contracted by Cigna to be part of their network. However, if you visit a provider that's not contracted with Cigna, you would still have coverage for those services, but at the higher out-of-network costs as shown. Additionally, regarding in-network providers, note on the chart that for primary care and specialist office visits, there's a copay differential for each provider type. To pay the lower office visit copay, try to use physicians who have the Tier 1 Provider logo showing in Cigna's online provider directory. For office visits to providers without that Tier 1 designation, the copay will be higher as noted. And again, pharmacy benefits are the same for both medical plans. Regarding the Silver Plan, 
It replaces the traditional in and out of network plan design with pricing schedules and assigns specific provider groups to each pricing schedule. Though it's no longer an in and out of network plan, you can still use both sides of the plan as you wish, simply paying the noted schedule cost for the type of provider you use. For example, if one week you see a parish physician for an office visit, you'd pay a $30 copay, and that's that. You would not have to first meet the deductible. If a couple weeks later you see a health first physician for an office visit, you need to pay the full cost of the visit until you meet your deductible. Once you've met the deductible, then for an office visit to a health first physician, you'd pay 40% of the allowed amount. The allowed amount is determined by Cigna and is what your and the plan's coinsurance is applied to. For example, let's say you've already met your deductible and that Cigna's allowed amount for a Health First office visit is $300. For a Health First physician office visit, you'd then pay $120, which is 40% of the $300 allowed amount. The lower Schedule 1 pricing is limited to parish and steward hospital systems and their affiliated providers, plus independent physicians in Brevard County and Cigna's ancillary providers, for example, labs and outpatient surgical facilities. Except for emergencies, coverage outside of these designated provider systems will be subject to the higher Schedule 2 pricing. The higher Schedule 2 pricing applies to Health First providers, providers outside of Brevard County, and to non-contracted out-of-network providers. Again, reminding you that both plans have the same pharmacy benefits. Brevard Public Schools offers medical plan enrollees the opportunity to complete two wellness activities, a biometric screening and a health assessment, in order to reduce their medical plan deductible. As a new employee, completing these activities by the deadline noted in your new hire benefits package not only reduces your deductible in the year you're hired, but also in the following year. It's the only time that doing these activities once counts for two plan years. We just talked about the activities that lead to a reduced deductible, so here we'll take just a few moments to review the three resulting levels of medical plan deductibles. Let's use the Gold Plan's family deductible as our example. Everyone starts at the highest deductible, which is at the non-wellness level, $5,000 in our example. From there, medical plan enrollees must earn their way to the lower deductibles of one half wellness and wellness by completing the wellness activities. The non-wellness deductible is if neither the employee nor the spouse complete both activities. In this case, then no credit is earned and the employee and spouse are subjected to the full $5,000 non-wellness family deductible. The one half wellness tier is if only the employee or only the spouse completes both wellness activities. In this instance, then only half of the credit is earned and the employee and spouse are subjected to the $4,000 one half wellness family deductible. Finally, the wellness level of deductible is the best. If the employee and spouse each complete both wellness activities, then the full credit is earned and the employee and spouse are subjected to the lowest $3,000 wellness family deductible. Beginning with the 2021 plan year, a new tobacco use surcharge program begins. Use of any tobacco product will be subject to the $50 per month surcharge. Such products include cigarettes, cigars and pipes, vape and hookah pens, and e-cigarettes. Employees enrolling for 2021 medical coverage must complete the new online medical plan affidavit, which includes a question about their own tobacco use and that of their spouse, if applicable. Employees affirming tobacco use on the affidavit will be subject to the surcharge. However, the surcharge will be refunded if the tobacco user or users complete Cigna's tobacco cessation program by the deadline of September 30th, 2021. The cessation program includes coaching sessions either from a Cigna telephonic coach or Cigna's on-site health coach, Joni Doublecourt Whalen. Program completion by the deadline results in any applied surcharge being refunded by January 1st of 2022. 
To be considered tobacco free, an individual may not have used any tobacco product as of April 1st of 2020. Only one surcharge will apply even if both the employee and spouse use tobacco. However, both must complete the tobacco use cessation program in order to have the surcharge refunded. Earlier I mentioned the BPS Employee Well Care Center, so let's talk about them a little bit now. If you're enrolled in the BPS Health Plan, you'll have access to our three well care centers in the north, central, and south parts of the county, as shown. Any service received or medication dispensed at a well care center is free for employees and their dependents older than age six who are enrolled in the health plan. Services that you can receive at a well care center include health and wellness coaching, chronic condition management, primary and acute care, and biometric screenings. Remember, the biometric screenings are one of the two wellness activities that if you complete by the deadlines will reduce your annual deductible on the medical plans. One thing very important to note about the well care centers is they are not walk-in clinics. So just like any other doctor's office, appointments must be made. Two of the three well care centers also have the evening and weekend hours available. Now let's talk about some benefits which are available to all BPS employees, even if not enrolled in the health plan. We all have access to the Employee Assistance Program, or EAP, not only for ourselves, but for our family members too, including in-laws and out-of-state dependents. Using the EAP is free and completely confidential. You can get up to six in-person visits with a licensed counselor or psychologist, and you get unlimited sessions by phone. In addition to counseling, the EAP offers a wealth of information and assistance for many issues, including finding child and elder care, summer camps, special needs services, and financial and legal concerns. Help is available 24-7 and just a phone call away. Brevard Public Schools is fortunate to have two Cigna on-site wellness professionals who collaborate with the district and the well care centers to offer all employees fun and beneficial wellness activities and challenges throughout the year. The activities include things like walking and weight loss challenges, lunch and learns, and yoga classes. And if fun wasn't enough, many of these activities even offer prizes. Now let's get back to the new portion of this new teacher academy. What we'll talk about now is only relevant to you if you're very newly hired, meaning you're still within your 30 days from your hire date. If this is you, you must make your benefit elections within 30 days from your date of hire, and those benefits become effective on your 46th day of employment. Please don't wait until the last minute to enroll since there will be information that you'll need to look up and have available, for example, social security numbers. If you'll be enrolling a spouse or a child or children, you'll have to provide documentation proving their eligibility, for example, a marriage certificate for a spouse and birth certificates for children. This documentation must be provided by the 46th day from your date of hire. Remember we talked earlier about the two wellness activities that if completed result in a lower health plan deductible? That goes for spouses who will have medical coverage too. So if you're enrolling a spouse for BPS coverage, be sure they also complete the two wellness activities in order to get the maximum reduction to your deductible for the family. I've saved for last one of the biggest advantages you have as a new hire still within your 30 day benefits election window. This is your one-time opportunity to enroll in STD and LTD without having to fill out a health questionnaire. This means if you enroll for it now, you'll get it. If you choose to wait and elect STD and or LTD during annual enrollment, which is perfectly fine, then you'll be required to fill out a health questionnaire and await a decision from Cigna on your coverage, which might include a denial. So to get guaranteed issue on short-term or long-term disability, now would be the time to elect it. Now let's touch on some important general information regarding the BPS benefits program that you need to be aware of. First, the benefits program year is different than the school year in that it runs on a calendar year from January 1st to December 31st. This is important to know because depending on your date of hire as a new employee, you'll have to enroll for benefits twice in a relatively short period of time. 
For example, if, as we discussed a minute ago, you're still within your 30 days from your hire date, you'll be electing benefits now, which will be for coverage until December 31, 2020. However, in just a few months, you'll need to enroll again during open enrollment, and the elections you make during open enrollment will be for coverage beginning January 1st of 2021 through December 31st of 2021. Please don't think that because you elected benefits as a new hire now that they will carry you through the school year. They won't. They will end at the end of this calendar year. Generally, once you make your benefit elections, they are irrevocable until the next open enrollment. However, there are some exceptions to this rule, and those are called qualifying events. Qualifying events include things like marriage, birth or adoption of a child, death, and divorce. If you experience one of these qualifying events and wish to change any of your benefits, you must do so within 30 days from the date of that event. If you miss that qualifying event window, then you'll have to wait until the next open enrollment period in the fall or until you experience another qualifying event in order to make any benefit changes. Easy Benefits is the district's benefits administration system. It's not only where you'll enroll for benefits, but it's also the place where your personal benefits information will be kept, including your life insurance beneficiaries. To access your Easy Benefits account, you'll need a user ID and a password. The user ID will be your employee 100 number, and the password will be sent to you in your new hire package. Admittedly, the passwords are not ones easy to remember and they cannot be changed, so be sure to keep yours in a place where you'd have easy access to it should you need it. This slide shows you what the login screen in Easy Benefits looks like. After logging in with your user ID and password, you'll be brought to this screen. To access the benefits guidebooks, click where noted. To begin your enrollment session, you'll click the account tab at the top right corner of the screen. This is a screenshot of what your personal Easy Benefits account will look like. It's got your demographic data, which is uploaded from the district's My Information Center, or MIC. At the bottom left section is where all your beneficiary records are stored, and it's here where you can make self-service changes to your beneficiaries at any time, day or night. The center section shows your enrollment records, which are copies of your confirmation statements. Below that, the Enrollment History section shows the benefit choices you've made in past enrollment periods. The bottom right section lists the dependents you've enrolled for coverage in the current period. As we've just seen, the Account tab in Easy Benefits is where your personal benefits information is stored. However, when you'd like to learn more about the BPS benefits in general, then you'd head to the Benefits page at the district website. Once on the Benefits page, click the link information for active employees as shown here by the red arrow on the slide. After clicking the link information for active employees, this is the page you'll be taken to, which has links to all the benefits that make up the BPS benefits program. Nearly every item on this page is a link that will take you to more information. If you're still in your 30-day enrollment window or are still pretty new to the district, this would be a good place to spend a little time to become familiar with what information is available so that when you need the information, you'll know where to go. It will also be a good place to go to help you decide which benefits to enroll for. Links to information about the Employee Wellcare Centers are here too. This brings us to the end of the benefits presentation, and on this slide, you can see who makes up the benefits team. Make a note that each BPS worksite has a benefit contact, which is usually the site secretary. Then, three of the benefit team members noted above are each assigned to their own list of schools and worksites. In the event your own site's benefit contact isn't available, always feel free to contact the benefit team member assigned to your worksite. To find out who that is, when you visit the benefits page on the district website, Click the link at the left that reads Employee Benefits Team slash Staff, and the list by team member will be shown. Again, we warmly welcome you to the BPS team.